hi everyone so today we are going to discuss how to access the operating system called ios of a cisco router or a switch so in this slide we can see a picture of a router so like computers the routers and the switches are also hardware devices and to operate them we need an operating system like and window uh, like on computers are these we have some windows operating system we have linux operating system in the same way on this cisco routers and switches we have an operating system and cisco specifically calls them ios that stands for internet network operating system now the job of ios is to take commands from the network engineer or the technical person so it takes commands from this to the routers and it also gets some functional information of the routers and conveys that information to the technical person or the network engineer so this ios actually provides a bridge between the technical person or the network engineer and the router this ios or the inter network operating system provides the network engineer a command line interface the same exactly that we are we have been using in windows operating system so this command line interface is actually a text based user interface the user can give command by using this interface that's called cli so just just a, a view of cli is there now to access this command line interface there these three to four methods are given in cisco switches we have these three methods and for the routers we have one additional method as well so these are the methods by which a user can access a router and its ios the very first method is the console so what we do on the router itself we have been provided a console port we connect with this console port to to access the cli of the router so by this method a user just connects his or her computer with the console port of the router and the user can access the cli interface of the ios in this in this case you can see there's a console port and on the computer you, we can have a serial or usb port and we can have even more options to connect with the console port of the router and we can configure the router from or we can access the command line interface by this method and the second method is telnet the telnet is a method uh, by which a user can access the router far from the router so the, the user cannot be physically in, near to the router so it can have a, it can be anywhere and the user will be using some ip address so this user can access this router with the help of, of of some ip address and in between the user and the router can have internet which can be far very far from it. and the third method is secure shell that's exactly like telnode but secure shell as the name suggests that it is the secure connection from a user to the router and this for to connect this secure shell the router needs to have an ip address and the final method is by using auxiliary port so the router has an auxiliary port a user can use a modem or telephone line and by using that line a user can get connected to the routers so these are the four methods by which a user can connect with the command line interface provided by the cisco ios Thank you.